All right, let's throw in, let's throw in some yellows. Let's do a sunset, or maybe a sunrise. Could be either one. I'll start with ochre today. Maybe ochre and a little bit of yellow. Right there. There we go. It's in. Relaxing and fun as always as I join your stream. Yep. <laughs> Try to keep it relaxing here. It's a good way to either end the week or start the next one. However you want to look at it. All right, we got the yellow up there. Should we throw in purple? Let's throw in crimson. Crimson and yellow are okay to touch. All in a two and a half inch brush. Actually, this part doesn't matter. I'm going to cover that up with the mountain. Not worry about that. This is permanent lizard and crimson. It is very, very strong. All right, we're going to wipe this out. Then blend a little bit. Could use the blender brush. Maybe. Maybe use the blender brush. I don't know. Yes, we could. It doesn't hurt to use the blender brush. Oops, if I can get it out of the holster. There we go. Wipe it out after touching a few times. Can add some blue up here as well. I might actually, I'm gonna do that. Add some blue up here, over here, make it really dark. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that color we picked up. Drawing yellow colors look like you brushed the roll with butter, ketchup and butter. <laughs> Could be. Some people paint with ketchup and mustard. I'm just blending this out here. And we can add a sun here pretty easy, right there. Right there. Actually, maybe up there. <laughs> I take it back. We'll add it right up there. First, some blue. All right, Prussian blue. I forgot to tell what colors I was using. But I'll put them in the video. I also have, I finally got, <laughs> I finally got like actual video making software so hopefully my I can make the videos for after the stream a little bit easier I don't know if I want water in this or not maybe not Maybe not this time. I feel like I do a lot of water paints. Every time I open the fridge, I say, maybe this time for mayo. <laughs> Sometimes I do that too. All right, here we go. Just make sure I got all that blue out. We're gonna add the sun, 
A little sunshine, sunset, sunset. <laughs> I'll use filbert. Make sure it's not stiff. Sometimes I leave them out and they get stiff. Spin it around a few times. I think we said it was gonna be right here. Let's put them right there. Hopefully pick up some yellow. There we go. We'll go over another time or two. Pick up the red, pick up the yellow. Just spinning them. Your arts teleported me from Art World to Gordon Ramsay World. <laughs> you like Gordon Ramsay too? He's funny. All right, we're gonna go gently across this. So now we got a sun, we got sunshine, but we got a highlight, otherwise it won't look like sunshine. Let's see, so that's red. Could add some red and ochre maybe, is that a color? I mean, it's a color, but is it a good color? Some white, maybe? Not enough white. That's just pink. More like orange. How do I get this to be orange? I have no idea what color I've got here. I don't know. We can highlight with this. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Dark color vibes. <laughs> yeah. All colors fit together. That's true. I'm going to highlight the bottoms of these uh, really dark streaks here with the filbert. Hopefully it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> That's all I aim for. Non-terrible paintings. Up here. Ooh, what do we want to do up here? Big one. Maybe he comes up here. I don't know. getting into different colors up there. Some up here too. I'm just going to blend all these out. Um, so right now it just looks like blobs. But eventually it'll look like something. And I'm going to fill in the mountain over here, so I'm not worried about that anymore. I've noticed your character is so calm. Peace of mind. I am very calm. I don't I don't freak out about much. Calm, cool, and collected. Oh, somebody's dinging me. Gotta mute this real quick. That's what I get for not muting my phone. Here we go. Back into this blending. Just a little bit in here. Here we'll go over the sun. And these I don't even, I don't even want to be able to see that middle one. Or these. These ones maybe a little bit. And then these ones, I don't, I don't want to see those. And these ones, I'm not flew from. Flew from with the little little rotation, little circle. And then these ones I said I don't care about, so <laughs> I think it would be whatever. Alright. Maybe I'll fluff him a little bit more. He's not fluffed up enough. There we go. There's a little sky. I'm gonna blend that one out. I don't wanna see him. This one too. 
There we go. There's a sunset. Looks like a sunset. It's good as you are concentrated more. Yeah. All right, all right, here we go. Got that, got that. Got to clean off the pallet knife. Whoops. We're gonna throw in a mountain, maybe. Maybe more than one mountain. Maybe a few mountains. Oh, did I actually, I think I actually cut myself somehow. That's no good. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's just do, let's just do a big mountain up here. Lillian, hey, Paint by Nate, your videos helped me figure out how to do Bob Ross paintings with water mixed oils, thanks. Yeah, no problem, I'm glad they help. Water mixed oils are pretty nice. You know a lot of people, they don't, um, they think there's something different than regular oil paints, but they're really just oil paints that have an emulsifier added them, so they dissolve in water. That's the only difference I've noticed. They work, they work really well, especially if you have like sensitivities. Like I can't use anything with petroleum in my fountain because I get hives everywhere. It's awful. I didn't know I had a problem with it until I started using odorless mineral spirits and I just got bumps all over my arms. So it's good that it's good there are safe alternatives. All right, we're gonna make a mountain. There's some blue, Prussian blue, some crimson. This one could be pretty dark. I don't really have a firm idea of what I want to do with this mountain, but it's just gonna be a little mountain. Actually, maybe, maybe it's a hill instead. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. These are the types of mountains that I have where I live. They're very soft. Very, very soft. Here's one. Actually, should have done this one first if I'm going to do it like this. Maybe one further back. I just put shapes in. And blend it out, and it looks like a looks like a mountain. A little hill back here. I'll put a tree, big tree there. Sure, sure. Looks like a volcano, <laughs> lava. It <laughs> could be, could be a volcano. I've never tried to paint a volcano. That might be interesting. Interesting to paint. Interesting challenge. Go in front of that one. Let's pull this down. I actually like to use the two-inch brush for this. There we go. a river here, or I see a body of water here. <laughs> I know that's how I was going to put it in, but I'm going to put it in. All right. Got to get this one kind of clean. Good enough. Throw that in there. And we got to do some highlighting. How do we want to do the highlighting? Hmm. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do the old pull-up trick where it makes them look like little trees. Probably won't show up in the camera, but this looks like details even though there's no details here. It's an illusion. pull up at different parts of it, it makes it look like trees. 
There we go. Alright, I'm gonna take more of that blue. I'm gonna actually put water down here. Some the right, and then some from the left. But not in the middle. Ooh, look at that. See, there's a sheen? That's cool. I always get excited about that part. I don't know why. Just the easy sheen. There we go. I need a little bit more up there. Good enough. Alright. We've got mountains. We've got trees. Do we need rocks? If a woman says maybe to a man, she more into yes or no? Uh, it depends on the woman. I had one friend. She, If she said maybe, it was always no. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to go see me? Maybe. That was a no. She was just being nice. Alright, get this blue out of this brush. We got, we got water. We got mountains. We got trees. We got clouds. What are we missing here? What are we missing? I feel like I missed something. More trees, more rocks. Let's see. Let's actually add some ivory black and blue together. Actually, that might be too dark. Let's let's put that color down for a second. Let's go. Uh, let's do something old school. Umber, black. Emerald green on the fan brush. All right, here we go. These won't show up, but I'm actually going to highlight them. They might show up on the camera, I'm not sure. But I don't want to go too far down here and ruin, the, ruin that, so I'm just going to do a little bit here. I say that and I just ruined it. No, I didn't ruin it. I'm just kidding. I didn't ruin it. It's very hard to ruin a painting. I think I said that before. You have to try very hard to actually ruin a canvas to the point where you can't undo something. At least with this style of painting. I don't know. I did one acrylic painting and it was not the case. In one of your streams, can you do a Texas painting? I can try. I don't think I've done a Texas painting before. I do have a lot of friends in Texas though, so I could get them to send me pictures. Or if you have pictures, if anybody has a picture they want me to paint on stream, just send it on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, any of those. And I'll give it a shot. See how it goes. Alright, we're gonna pull this down a little bit. Kind of like a reflection of those trees. But not too much. Alright, we got those trees now. We'll add some yellow into that green. Hansa yellow into that whatever that color was I had on the brush. And we want some lights here coming. That's where the sheen is. So we're gonna put some we're gonna put some light. We're gonna put some light in here. Not too much. And as you as I go around it, I'm going to pick up the dark color and it's just going to fade. It's going to fade. You won't even be able to tell that this is a green, or dark, light green color here. And I'll wipe this off. And I'll just go over it one more time. This will soften it because the edge is really harsh when you do it the first time, I found. Maybe not when you do it, but it's just when I do it, I get, it's very harsh. So, here we got some little trees. Maybe we'll push up here. Make it look like grass or something. Easy, lazy man's grass. Just push in. There we go. And then, what else we want to do? Let's see. I feel like I need some water, but I can wait. Next time I'll remember to bring a, a bottle of water in with me. Let's see. I got those colors that I don't really like. 
Actually, I wouldn't say I won't like them. I, just, I don't know how to use them anymore. Let's take let's take some ivory black and white and some umber. Hopefully, it looks like a stone color. For the base, I'm just going to throw in umber. We're going to do this over here. Whoops. These are just going to look like stones. I'm going to lighten them up a bit so they aren't as harsh. those and throw some trees on them over top I'm curious <laughs> what are you curious about crispy if someone wants to buy your one art uh, I have an Etsy shop but not all my paintings are on there I don't I don't really list them much anymore Etsy's kind of expensive well, if you want one, just message me. I send it to you. I don't. I don't do this to make money, really. In fact, I lose money on most of my paintings that I ship out to people because <laughs> my shipping is too low, and I don't want to change it because I have to edit all the paintings on Etsy, and I don't want to. It takes a lot of time. I'm sure they have a bulk tool, but I just it's too much effort for me. You send the art in a frame. Uh, I haven't framed them. I don't. Uh, I don't really frame anything. I could frame them, probably. I do have people around that. There's like frame shops and stuff, so I could do that. I just don't. I don't know what I'm doing up here. I'm just kind of throwing in some rock looking things. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's pull this out. I'll throw a water line in here. Why not? Oh, that's way too small. There we go, little tiny roll. Right, so I'm just gonna smash them. There we go. Now I use the fan brush. I like using the fan brush to uh, smooth my water lines. I know a lot of people don't. They don't do that, but I like doing it. I don't know why. All right, we got some rocks. We got some stones. What do we want to add? Oh, we need some water lines on the other side. I forgot. Right here. There we go. Almost forgot them. No work one year because kneecap. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. There we go. There's a painting. <laughs> it looks okay. A uh, tree. Let's do a tree. Got all this extra emerald green. I like painting these types of trees, so let's do a, let's do a big one. Let's make him go all the way up, like out the top. He's off the top. He's off the chain.
Do we want to cover that up? No. Maybe. Do we? Put all that effort in and put that Brock in. I don't want to cover them up. Me, so sick are you. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like sometimes my harshest critic is myself. That might be true for most artists. I don't know. I'm going to cover up that rock. You don't look right. Sorry, rock. And he's too much, too much paint there, so we got to do with some surgery. Sorry, Rock. Nice knowing you. You served a purpose. Alright, back to the emerald green. Big old leaves. Maybe we'll put in some shrubbery here. But for now, I'm just doing that emerald green ochre. I feel like that's a nice, I don't know, I like that color for highlighting uh, dark evergreens. Don't look too bad. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Criticizing your art makes you better in painting, making them. Oh yes, good point. That is a good point. I'm going to put some stuff down here. That's a lot of paint there. Be careful with that. Alright, last thing. Maybe one more step. I feel like this part I'm really happy with. I like the simpleness of, or simplicity of that side. I would like to see a desert with pyramids and camels. <laughs> I could try it. I can try it next week. I've never painted a pyramid before, but I can try anything. All right, emerald green, black, blue, dark, dark color. Mm, right there. Not too much. I don't want to go over that nice sheen. like there's some bushes in there before I actually add bushes in there. All right, last part, last part. Right around the sheen. Sky Lancer, hey Nate, oh, what's up? This turned out fantastic, thanks Billy. Thanks Lillian. <laughs> Crispy's giving me a challenge, a mummy challenge. I need like a a website or something where I can just have people just tell me what they want me to paint and then the highest voted one gets painted. That would be funny. Alright, a little bit of magic white yellow. I'm using mostly the two inch brush today. Lights here, brightest here. there, maybe a bush here, some there, right there, here, there, here, there, <laughs> soften, there we go, good enough, right, so next week you draw a pyramid, make a discord for that stuff, ooh, that's a good idea, I did make a discord, but I haven't invited anyone to it. <laughs> it's not public. I gotta figure out. Gotta figure out the rules and stuff. I tried writing my own, like approval bot, but I got tied up with other work stuff, so I couldn't finish it. And I ended up just making like a Discord radio that plays from uh, internet URL instead. Well, I can pick it back up folks think that would be useful. Alright. I'm going to throw in some blades of grass and that'll, that'll be the end. You should totally do a Texas landscape or maybe like Arches National Park painting. 
All right, I'll give it a shot. I need to write these. I'll write these down after the stream. Oh no, I lost my script liner. Well, that's not good. Well, I got another one here. I guess I'll use that. <laughs> that one's gone forever. Nice t-shirt. What's on my t-shirt? Trillionaire Mindset? <laughs> Do you watch Trillionaire Mindset? Uh, yellow. No, black. This is linseed oil here. Swirl this around. There's some darker grass down here in the corners. I do this all the time. I feel like almost every painting I add this tall grass. I don't know why. This reminds me of where I grew up. We had cattails everywhere growing in a pond. We had a pond behind our house and then we had one at the park right by where I lived. And they had these little little long long grass things growing there. There we go. All right, that's good enough, I think. I'll give it a signature and then we can all get some rest, and get ready for the week. Hopefully it's a good week. I never know anymore. <laughs> Weeks are good or bad all the time. It's always a coin flip. There we go. A little tiny signature up there. Could have used some red in this painting, but maybe next time. All right, so next week, uh, what's next week? Arches National Park in Texas and a mummy, a mummy challenge. <laughs> You're slowly turning into the man, the myth, and the legend, Bob Ross. Oh, geez, those are some big shoes to fill. Maybe in like 30 years, <laughs> I'll still be doing this. <laughs> we'll see where we're at. All right, let's take it down. There we go. That actually came out pretty good. I'm happy with that. Great painting, love the sunset. Oh, thank you, much appreciated. All right. <laughs>